Hello and welcome. In this video, you are going to learn how you can handle billing in your Shopify app. So in the previous video, we designed the basic of the product page. So this is what we have and it is very basic. In this video, you will learn about billing. When someone install your app, how you are going to charge them and how you are going to price them. And the billings are automatically done by Shopify. So you have to just tell the people like these are the plan. You have to select which plan you want to go. I know like there are apps who have like basic plan, pro plan, premium plan, different type of plan and they are going to charge customer like differently. So I'm going to delete our app so to test our billing. So I will delete it and I'm going to install it again with the billing. Currently the billing is not enabled. So I'm going to delete the app here from the store that we have and then I will come to the Shopify uh, Laravel Shopify billing. This is the billing part, the documentation, and I'm going to go through the documentation and see how it is going to work. If you check out the documentation, it is very clean and clear, but it is always good if you pay attention to every detail that they provide here. Sometimes there are a small changes and you never notice it. So let's start from here. You can go through everything you have to put like in the documentation, but this is the basic starting point. Uh, option and setup. If you want to enable billing, all you have to do is add this one like the Shopify uh, billing enable to true in your ENV environment. So I will copy this one. I'll come to the code editor and my app is running here. I'm going to come to the ENV and scroll to the bottom. I will add it. So now I will I have enabled the billing. The default is zero, but you should make it one to make it billable. Now there are some other proper like uh, variables also you have to set. For example, there is like a freemium. It will let people use your app without like billing. It is good if you are if someone install your app on a development store and they are able to install without paying anything. There are some apps you install it, but if you do not have like the premium enable, it is not going to let you install it unless you have the billing option in your store. So it is always good to have it like as a default zero so people can install on the development store. Billing redirect. This is not recommended to change, but this is the default uh, process. Some There are some apps who use a custom uh, billing process. If you want to do that one, you want to customly like charge people with Stripe or anything, you can do that. You can change it, but it is not recommended. So Shopify will handle that. And this is the plan. The plan is a table in the database. If I check out the SQL Pro here, these are all the table our app generated. There is a plan here, plan table, you can add your plan. I have already created a plan here. These are very basic and if I check out, these are the values you have to give. Type, either you give it recurring or, or one time. It is basically, are you charging people monthly or at once? What is the difference? There are some apps who require only one time charge. For example, there is an app who can clone the store. So this app does not have to charge people monthly because people clone their store only once. So on that time, your app should use like one time. Otherwise, if you are, if someone is using your service based on the usage, then you can use the recurring name of your plan. It will display to the user, the price, the crap price. Price is easy, but what is the crap price? Sometimes you can charge people more than the, the price. So the crap is the maximum price your plan will charge based on the usage. So you can specify this one. It is um, always greater than the price. And terms, you can display it uh, as a term and condition. And trials, how many days you want to display, uh, like, like how many days you give user for the free plan. And test mode enable, I will always make it true because I am like developing the app. And uninstallable is a boolean. Use either set it on true or false. It will make like your app uh, to ask the customer for billing when they install it. If you set it to false, you can later give them a link to say, hey, your trial is finished. You have to upgrade your plan or anything you want. So I always set this to true because I want to charge people, not charge people. I want to ask people to select their plan on install. So this is how you can do it. This is all the the table information you have but since i'm using sql pro i just manually enter this so to save sometimes the base the plan is called basic plan it uh, charged like 
5.99 and then the rest of it so this is the term and 7 days trial test is true on install is true and that's all I need now if I come here scrolling down on install is true note everything is fine what is the flu here it is you can install your app on the shop you want it will accept the permissions after that it will redirect you to the billing screen if they accept it they will go to the home page if they decline it it will go to an error page so let's see if it works for us now i will scroll down through the documentation and explain you other stuff also there is a freemium and there is a grandfather grandfather is when you give a let's see a friend of you is having a store and you want to give them like free uh usage for your app you can give them a grandfather access that is how it works and this is how you can see and free memory is as i explained above you can give a store a freemium plan if they do not have any billing option in their store still they can install it and how you can upgrade to another plan this is a link you can just give it a link and you can send it to this route called billing specify your plan and this is the plan id for now i have only one plan which is this recurring one if you have multiple plan you can specify it here you can upgrade to any other plan now how you're cre like creating usage charge as I said, like previously, usage charges based on the usage people are uh, going to use your app. For example, if your app is dealing with emails and you tell people, if you send 100 email, I'm going to charge you $10. If you are sending like 200 email, I'm going to charge you, let's say, $15. That is the usage charge. And this documentation explains that. I'm not going to do go through that one, but if I scroll down to the billing and middleware here like billable middleware this is very important and you should not miss this one if you want a url to be billable you have to have the billable uh, middleware on that so for us if i come to my code i will open the route and in the web none of these have billable so this is our middleware but currently if i install my app nothing will happen it will not ask for charges the reason is because i don't have the billable middleware so I will copy the billable word here and then I'll paste it here now all of this route will be billable it means if the anyone who install my app in the store uh, if they want to access this page they have to access, accept billing and then they will have access to the store otherwise they won't have so let's try and install the app I will go to the wishlist and inspire the test and I am getting a token like oops an error is happening because I think it expired or something let's try installing it in our app and see if this is working I'll copy this one install it it will redirect me to the uh, this is the permission page you have to ask like my uh, the scopes if you remember scopes are where you can tell people tell the the store that i need access to the order to the customer and to the products this is all the thing i need install the app the next step is the billing check it out it just redirect me to the billing page and this is where i ask people 5.99 usd i'm going to charge you and the due date is 31 because of like 13 days like free trial at the time of this recording at least so and uh, this is going to charge you every 30 days and the additional fee might be like maximum of this much if you use more than your plan so if i start the plan it is going to add the confirmation and everything will be set up in my table here so if i come to the table charges this is where it, it should store the data for me now i will come back to my app and er an unknown error happen uh, i have no idea why this is happening if this is happening for you um, it is maybe because something has expired in my app and because shopify mostly uh, change things in their end and maybe my api has expired that's why but if i refresh the page here i have already installed the app now i should be able to access my app here i hope it doesn't re 
require peeling yes it does so i accept it it should not ask me again but if it asks me again maybe there is an error with my app so i will fix that in the next video so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video